Good morning, you guys. How are y'all doing this morning? It is early. And I'm fixing to make some of my oatmeal. I never liked oatmeal until you set y'all up. There we go. Excuse the way I look. I just woke up like about 10 minutes ago. Not even 10 minutes. So. Alright, I'm going to show y'all my oatmeal. I do overnight oat. Excuse that wall. I still got to finish painting. Um, but the way I do my oatmeal is I get the oatmeal from um, the Dollar Tree. It's like one minute oats or something. I'll show you the bag. Hold on. But this is enough for two days. I mix in, um, I'll show you, I'll show you everything, how about that, I'll show you everything, so I get these oats from Dollar Tree, they're really good, and then I'll get the coconut yogurt and mix in with it, and almond milk, and then I will add in Butter. Please don't judge me. I love the peanut butter. So I'll take a good heaping spoon and add it to my oats. These are the two things I use to make my overnight oats along with almond milk. And I make it pretty loose. And I do use the almond milk from the Dollar Tree. It works just as good. But you can tell I put my peanut butter in there and I gotta get my chocolate. And I would have used the chocolate chunks from the Dollar Tree, but they were out, so I had to go to a different store and get these. So I just mixed in some chocolate chips, give it to flavor. I like sweet stuff, so. Alright. And then I just mix it up and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. It tastes like a peanut butter oatmeal cookie and it's so sweet. I even eat this when I get home from work sometimes because uh, at work sometimes I don't get to eat lunch. But that's okay. It's all good. Oh goodness, I'm so tired. Okay, so there you go. That's what it looks like. And then I take my you can tell my bed's messed up, but I'll make it up before I go to work. So I take my oatmeal and I come back here and I open my drawer and you can see I take my drawer and I open it like that to hold my coffee. Let's get my coffee. And I'll put it back here. Uh, I don't want to just drop it in my drawer. That would be horrible. And then I get my Bible. Because you got to start the day with Jesus. Otherwise, you'll have a horrible day. So, my two books, my oatmeal. My coffee, and this is how I start the day. I still haven't gotten a shower yet. That's okay though. So, what I do before I even open my Bible is I will pray and ask God to lead me and what He wants me to know for that day. And usually, it does apply to the day. Hopefully I won't be so tired later, but let's see what today's daily devotional says. Today is the 9th, if I'm not mistaken. It says, wear my robe of righteousness with ease. I custom made it for you to cover you from head to toe. The price I paid for this covering 
was astronomical, my own blood. You can never purchase such a royal garment, no matter how hard you worked. Sometimes you forget that my righteousness is a gift, and you feel ill at you feel ill at ease in your ro regal robe. I weep when I see you squirming under the velvety fabric as if it were made from scratchy sackcloth. I want you to trust me enough to realize your privileged position in my kingdom. Relax in the luxuri luxuriant luxuriant uh, I lost my place. Uh, where am I at? Luxuriant folds of my magnificent, magnificent robe robe keep your eyes on me as you practice walking this walking in this garment of righteousness when your behavior is unfitting for one in my kingdom do not try to throw off your royal robe instead throw off the unrighteous behavior then you will be able to feel at ease in this glorious garment enjoying the gift i fashioned before you before the foundation of the world and that comes from Isaiah 61 10 Corinthians 5 21 and Ephesians 4 22 through 24 so that's the daily devotional for today and I'm sorry that my reading is not the best but at least I'm reading it. And I'm going to eat a breakfast while I'm still looking at my Bible. Let me know if y'all fry it. So good. I am. It'll keep it full most of the day. finish reading my bowl and eat my breakfast and I will see y'all whenever I'm heading to work. Okay y'all I hope y'all enjoyed um listening to me read the bible very very badly but I read it nonetheless. Um if you don't have a daily devotional I love this one by Sarah Young but if you don't have one you should probably get one. I mean, it's just small little verses. Like, if you don't have time to read the Bible in the morning, at least read a daily devotional. Because it'll start your day out right. But I'm going to clean up um, the camper. Like, I'm going to do the dishes because I can't leave my oatmeal bowl in the sink because ants will take it away. I don't know what's going on with this part of my head, but... Yeah, um... I have to clean up the camper. I'll do the dishes and make my bed. And I'll clean up the bathroom before I leave for work. But, yeah, I'm going to finish my coffee. And then I'm going to go and get a shower and finish getting ready for work. So, I will show y'all what I have in my lunch bag before I leave. Okay, so my bed is made. And dishes are done but I'm going to show y'all what I have in my lunch bag let me grab this okay so this is my lunch bag I got it from the Dollar Tree it's got little peaches on it Super cute. okay so I have chicken and vegetable for my lunch that's some chicken I did in the crock pot and some vegetables I did in the oven Candy grapes, these are so good. I have a bag of pretzels. I'm a snack kind of girl. I don't really stop to eat a whole meal. And this is, um, I don't know, I don't remember what it's called, but it's from the Dollar Tree. It's kind of like a trail mix, but it's a Mexican style. It's so good. El Elote, I don't know what it's called. I think it's Elote. And but that's all that's in my 
bag and then I'll take my hydrogen full of water and I will add in my flavor pouches which is I'll show you the favorite all-time favorite one. This one here. Peach and mango. It is so good. If you can find this, try it. I don't even like peach or mango but this one is so good. So I'm going to add in these to my hydro jug so I can at least get my water in today. So yeah, that's what's in my bag. I have a straw and a lid coming. I don't know when it'll be here, but I ordered it. I think I ordered that Saturday. Friday or Saturday. I'll just take four of these because this is a half gallon. I'll take like four of these and put it in there. They're so good, y'all. Uh -oh. Absolutely love them. And like I said, I do not like peach or mango, but I love these. Like, I was telling somebody about them, they were like, I don't like peach or mango, and I'm like, me neither. But I love these. This is a 73 ounce um, container of water, so that's why I put 70 ounces in it. just in case it does leak and there we go I'll put this back in the fridge until we get ready to go and the bag. now I gotta go and get this shower so, later. okay y'all so this is what I look like after work uh, I had six kids by myself today from six weeks, I, I think, I think she's six weeks, six weeks to, uh, I think almost a year. And yes, that is sweat. I've sweat all day. And now it is like five, um, 554. And I just got home. I was supposed to get off at 515. And it literally takes me three minutes to get to work. Oh, I'm tired, y'all. I'm gonna go in here and make me some ramen. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. The noodles, the wax noodles everybody eats. I'm gonna make some wax noodles and I'm gonna eat them and I'm gonna crash because I've been up since 5.30, 5, 5.30. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe.